Polaris really invented the mountain segment with their long track SKS models in the early 90s. SKS stood for Snow King Special, but a long track back then would barely pass as a crossover today. Once the idea had come to life and the benefits of a long track were realized, vertical riding would never be the same and Polaris would start its long journey to the absolute pinnacle of the mountain-specific marketplace. The key to staying on top is the seemingly never-ending development of the many versions of the RMK platform. Year after year, this sled gets changes and improvements, additions and deletions, some big, some small, all of them resulting in a sled that was better than the previous version. 2013 sees the RMK take a giant leap forward, not just in its own performance and specs, but also in what the mountain segment now sees as standard equipment. Right up front, the 2013 Polaris Pro RMK weighs an almost unbelievable 417 pounds, making it the lightest 800 class mountain sled ever made. And while that's impressive all on its own, it's how the Polaris mountain engineers arrived at this number and all the features and benefits that were added in the process that really make it stand out. The most impressive piece of technology found on the 2013 Pro RMK is definitely its use of bonding to similar metals and materials. A hugely limiting factor in the production of light but strong snowmobiles is the fact that you can't weld dissimilar metals together. Polaris's bonding process that was perfected on the original Rush models allows two dissimilar metals to be connected together in a way that's actually stronger than welding. The obvious benefits of this are the ability to use lightweight material where you want it and heavy material only where you need it. The A-arms on the RMK are a prime example of this, saving an amazing two full pounds over their previous renditions. But they aren't the only place Polaris has used bonding to save weight and add strength. The RMK's overstructure is the upper triangle of the chassis that holds the handlebar post in place and braces the top of the shock towers. Like the A-arms, the mounting points for this part need to be strong, but the actual tube sections just need to be rigid. Bonding has allowed Polaris for the first time to use cast ends with carbon fiber tubes. That's right, carbon fiber. It's light, it's strong, it's trick, and it has helped increase the structural rigidity of the Pro RMK chassis by nearly 300%. If you can't see the endless possibilities for this technology in countless places on nearly every class of sled in the industry, dude, you need to have your eyes checked. Further weight savings on the RMK come from a number of different places. The exhaust can, for example, has been completely rethought and redesigned to meet emissions requirements, meet sound requirements, but save five pounds all at the same time. A lightweight seat is comfortable and designed to work with a rider in the mountains without getting in the way. A lightweight front bumper and snow flaps seem like small improvements, but add to the overall weight savings of the whole vehicle. Of course, another of the more obvious changes on the 2013 Pro RMK are the all new powder track running boards. They look light because they are light, but they were designed to be so much more than just light. The huge cutouts clear snow, the extruded aluminum construction is extremely stiff, durable, and replaceable, and the machined edges grip your boots like a teeny bopper giving Justin Bieber a big old bear hug. The final piece of super trick tech the RMK is sporting underneath its sexy bodywork is what Polaris calls the low inertia drive system, or belt drive. This is a setup many pro level mountain riders have been using on their fully modified sleds for years but the 2013 Pro RMK marks the first time it has ever come standard on a consumer model. The low inertia drive system consists of a belt and two pulleys that replaces your chain case, chain, and sprockets on a conventional setup. Is it light? You bet it is, but there's a lot more to it than that. Gyroscopic force is what keeps a bicycle vertical when the wheels are spinning. It's also the rotating force you must overcome to lean any spinning object on its side. Believe it or not, a typical chain and sprocket drive setup on a snowmobile creates measurable gyroscopic forces. Polaris claims their low inertia drive system lowers the rotating mass and therefore the gyroscopic forces acting on the sled and the rider by an astounding 21%. They claim this adds up to a five pound decrease in effort required to pull the sled over on its side in the powder. To quantify this in layman's terms, imagine lifting a 10 pound weight 
every five seconds for four hours. Now imagine lifting a five pound weight for the same amount of time. Unless your name's Arnold, I think you'd notice a pretty big difference after just the first few minutes, wouldn't you? The fact that the 2013 Polaris Pro RMK is the lightest 800 class mountain sled ever made is impressive. But that fact almost pales in comparison to the cumulative effects of all the cool technology used to achieve that number. Add it all up and you've got the most impressively performing and technologically advanced mountain sled ever sold.